it's like the saying goes, silence is golden, but sometimes si silence can be deafening. And I think people need to, to really communicate whichever, through whichever means they can. I had a lot of time to ruminate about what happened since the blockade took place. And um, I feel like we should all look at this collectively as um, something we can learn from. We really need to remember, and I can't emphasize this enough, that the um, non-Qatari community, whether they're Arabs or non-Arabs, um, have really uh, stood by Qatar during this uh, time, this difficult time, and we need to remember that we do not live in isolation. There should be better efforts to cross-communicate and really engage um, these, um, you know, uh, different ethnic communities that reside here in Qatar. I think communication is extremely crucial, and I believe the authorities should uh, communicate better through social media and otherwise and avoid any sort of public panic. People were momentarily um, afraid that the supermarkets were going to run out of produce and, and products, but um, that wasn't the case as we all know. That was shortly lived and a lot of the media outlets abroad tried to spin that to meet their own agenda, but we all know that um, things are normal. And if anything, you know, we have shipments and containers uh, coming into the country with a myriad of options in terms of um, products and food. We should really invest in supporting um, the SME sector. We have to support local products, and we should never wait for a debacle or some sort of uh, crisis to occur so that we could support them.